The Mississippi River immediately below its confluence with the Ohio River would be used to transport water from Hausler's proposal through Missouri and Kansas and into Colorado. Colorado may get 1 million acre-feet of water annually from the 800-mile system of pipes, ditches, and reservoirs for an estimated $23 billion. That would more than cover the anticipated municipal gap over the next 50 years and is only slightly less than the entire amount consumed by cities. The Arkansas Basin Roundtable, government representatives, and anybody else who will listen had all heard him pitch the proposal. And there is the issue. They simply listen. Perhaps even laugh a little. Hausler, a rancher and mining engineer from Gunnison, stated in a phone conversation on Monday that the project is probably dead right now. I'm done banging my head against the wall, Hausler said. I find it foolish, narrow-minded, and undoubtedly local. Nobody is genuinely looking ahead in this state. According to Hausler, the cost of building and running a pipeline down the Mississippi River would be comparable to projects from the Colorado River in terms of cost per acre foot. At the planned location of diversion, the Mississippi River flows through more than 240 million acre-feet annually. At that location, more than 4 million acre-feet of water are flowing every day due to the present flooding. The Mississippi River Pipeline, according to Hausler, is a genuine regional solution that won't cause any farmland to dry up or put further strain on the Colorado River. Hausler stated, we need to come up with a regional solution to water demands that will benefit the whole West including numerous plain states and ignore the artificial state borders created on a map in the 1860s.